Chapter 1. Core. Young Brogbert had arrived at the Holy Buzzard Meeting Tower, but he was four seconds late. My giddy goshawk, Brogbert, where have you been all this time Brogbert, said Master Buzzard Barry. There is no excuse for lateness in the great heptagon of buzzards Brogbert, do you understand Brogbert? Yes, Master Buzzard Barry, I understand that there are no excuses for lateness. Replied an energetic and upbeat Brogbert. He was happy because he liked the red sky of an early August evening, but he knew he should cease to smile due to his extravagantly naughty behavior. That is a good thing that you do understand, Brogbit, insisted Master Buzzard Barry in a calming, timid voice. Now that you have obtained knowledge of what is wrong and what is right, we shall begin the meeting. Each of the seven buzzards inside the Holy Buzzard Meeting Tower flapped their wings in a syncopated manner at different rates of speed. Out of nowhere, in the middle on the tower, the mighty Buzzard Lord appeared in all his golden buzzard glory. Chapter 2 Hello, my fellow buzzard associates, how is it going for you? whispered the aging mighty buzzard lord, in a hoarse and deteriorating voice. We are in hard times, my lord, cried Master Buzzard Barry. The yellow pigeon hordes have taken control of the West Woodland and this is where we are supposed to hunt for our shrew. The prophecy has begun, then, master, you know what to do. The mighty buzzard lord had spoken his last words as he died then and there on the spot. All that was left of him was his little mighty golden buzzard lord helmet. Quote. Oh, dearie me, the mighty buzzard lord is dead, cried one of the buzzards. Oh no. I knew that it would come to this. It is time for the prophecy to be fulfilled. Holy mother of the undying crow, Barry, you do not mean that prophecy, said another buzzard named Grand Schemer Bill. Yes, the prophecy of lords, Grand Schemer Bill. That is the prophecy that I mean in complete harmony all the buzzards, bar Brogbit, let out an emotion-filled sigh of surprise. Ah! The buzzards could not believe what they had just heard. All of the buzzards turned and looked at young Brogbit's beak. Brogbit, it is time you knew, said Master Buzzard Barry. You are the son of Balagius the Sixteenth, the high god of Buzzardland. Oh my god, said Brogbit. Does this mean it is up to me to defy the evil yellow pigeon hordes? Yes, Brogbit. Put on the mighty golden buzzard lord helmet and go and save the day. Okay, replied Brogbit as he put the helmet on his head with his wings. Goodbye. Bye bye Brogbit, and good luck. Chapter 3. Brogbit walked down to the woods which were exactly 36 meters to the west of the holy buzzard meeting tower. I am ready to conquer, cried Brogbit as he let out a shy tear. Brogbit jumped into the camp of the yellow pigeons and found himself surrounded by a group of evil yellow pigeons eating the shrew. I am the son of Balagius the Sixteenth, feel my wrath and feel my fury, feel my power and feel my warmth, you are no longer welcome here vile vermin of the lesser woodland, you shall be vanquished like your ancestors before you. Prepare to meet them in pigeon purgatory where you shall wait in eternal silence for your final judgment. Brogbit flapped one wing up and one wing down, and from his eyes was summoned the monstrous buzzard Aurora. Cor, cor, cor. The fire-filled Aurora expelled the pigeons from the living world with three loud caws and then fell back into Brogbit's eyes. Along with the pigeons, Brogbit fell to the ground in harrowing pain and was now deceased. The camp had been exterminated and the yellow pigeons were to never return until a time where the prophecy's conditions were met once again. Chapter 4. Today we have lost Brogbit, one of the finest young buzzards I ever knew, but we all knew he was to be sacrificed since the day he hatched from his mother's egg. Master Buzzard Barry exclaimed, I will miss fondling with his feathers in the cold winter, but at least the yellow pigeon menaces have been all been destroyed. And that is the end of the story of Brogbit the Buzzard.